Hi, this is Dr. Ty from Premier Orthodontics, and in this video we're going to be talking about four different ways that overbites are fixed with braces, so let's get started. Before we start talking about how to fix overbites, let's first define what an overbite is. What most people call an overbite, orthodontists call overjet. And this basically means that the top teeth stick out too far compared to the bottom teeth. An overbite is a fairly common bite problem, and it's something that orthodontists fix all the time, but how we fix the overbite will depend on how severe the bite problem is, and also the age of the patient. So there are lots of different ways to fix overbites, but in this video we'll discuss four of the most common ways that we correct overbites at Premier Orthodontics. The first type of overbite we'll discuss is a mild overbite. So the patient shown in this picture is a good example of a mild overbite. You can see that her top teeth stick out a bit compared to the lower teeth, but overall they aren't too bad. So for this type of overbite, a combination of braces and elastics were used to fix the bite. As you can see in this animation, that by connecting a rubber band in this direction, over time the top teeth will be pulled back and the bottom teeth will move forward. With this patient we showed earlier, you can see that with braces plus rubber bands, she was able to get her overbite fixed and she got a great result. Now the second type of overbite we're going to discuss is a moderate to severe overbite, but specifically in a younger child. When fixing larger overbites, it usually works best to get started with younger kids at around age 11 or 12. And at this age, we can actually use the child's growth to help fix the bite. The patient shown in this picture is a good example of a younger child with a more severe overbite. This patient was a great candidate for bite correction using a Herbst appliance. We'll show in this animation what a Herbst appliance looks like. Essentially, this appliance is cemented onto the teeth and it works by posturing the patient's lower jaw into a more forward position. When the jaw is held in this forward position, the teeth will begin to move in this direction and as the child grows, their jaws will move into a more forward position as well. This appliance is usually placed for about a year and then is followed by braces. You can see in that patient that we showed earlier that she had a fantastic result and we were able to correct the overbite and help improve her profile as well. The third type of overbite we're going to discuss is a moderate overbite, but in a teenage or adult patient. For older teenagers and adults, a Herbst appliance generally won't work as well because the patient doesn't have much growth remaining. For these patients, we usually recommend an appliance called Forces Springs. And Forces Springs are usually placed after about a year of braces, and you can see in this animation that the appliance works by compressing the spring, and the spring will push the bottom teeth forward, and at the same time to push the top teeth back. This appliance works very similarly to elastics, but is usually more reliable and can get more overbite correction. You can see in this patient that she's a teenager and she has a moderate overbite. So braces and forces springs were used and she was able to get a great result with full correction of her overbite. Now the last type of overbite correction we'll discuss is a severe overbite. In severe overbite cases, usually the top teeth are very protrusive and are sticking too far forward. And this patient here is a good example. This patient had actually started braces at another orthodontist office, and she had been wearing rubber bands with her braces for a couple of years. When she transferred to our office, we felt that her overbite was too severe to be fixed with rubber bands alone. So due to the severity of her bite, we recommended that she needed to have two permanent teeth removed on her upper arch in order to fix her bite. This short animation will demonstrate how taking out two teeth on the upper arch and then closing the space with braces can fix a severe overbite and help reduce the protrusion of the front teeth. You can see in this animation that we will usually have the first bicuspid or first premolar teeth extracted and then pull the front six teeth back into that extraction space. Once the space is closed, you won't be able to tell the teeth were removed, the bite will fit together properly, and the overbite should be fully corrected. So going back to our patient, she had two teeth on her upper arch extracted, and then we closed that space by pulling her front teeth back. By the time we were done, she had a beautiful smile, no spaces, and her overbite was completely fixed. So these are just four examples of how overbites are fixed. And there are lots of other different methods and other appliances used. And the only way to know for certain which one would be best for you or your child is to have a consultation with an orthodontist. If you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area, we'd love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we'll discuss the best way to fix your overbite and answer any other questions you may have. And if you have any questions about overbites, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And if you found this information helpful, please give this video a like. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more braces-related content. Make sure to tap that bell. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.